Welcome to Johnson & Johnson Vision Booth here at APAO 2025. APA is always a hub of groundbreaking advancements in ophthalmology. And this year, Johnson & Johnson Vision is proud to showcase the latest in eye care technology. Thank you everybody and uh, it's wonderful to be here at APAO and especially thrilled on top of that to be uh, announcing today the, the official launch of Technus PLC. And the Technus PLC lens really is that next innovation, that next generational leap forward when it comes to our Technus platform and our ability to really change the outcomes for patients. The Technus PureC IOL has already been well received across the Asia Pacific region, gaining strong momentum as surgeons experience its benefits firsthand. We are extremely excited with the launch of PureC. Technus PureC IOL is going to be one more addition to the cadence of innovation that we have in India and which we will continue to bring in the space of IOLs and equipments for benefit of our surgeons. Let's count down to the ribbon cutting ceremony. Three, two, one. We are thrilled to officially launch Technus PureC in India. Congratulations to Johnson & Johnson for giving surgeons here in India the gift of peace of mind. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Brian Schwamm, Dr. Roberts, and Dr. Sachdev to dive deeper into Technus PureC's clinical performance and impact. I want to start off by talking about your sort of really your initial impressions with the lens. From an overall clinical perspective, what have you been seeing so far and can you share your initial experience? My impression over the last uh, couple of years of using the new lens is we're getting very good predictable distance vision and an excellent range of lifestyle vision from, for computers and smartphones for most of the day. So it, it's, it's been a really exciting addition to uh, lens selection for patients. The outcomes of close to about 100 uh, eyes that I have implanted has been really exciting. Uh, I think the patients are getting excellent distance vision. There are some patients who are actually independent of glasses, uh, but majority of them are around N8. So that's a great, great, and if you uh, actually do a mini monovision along with that, maybe then uh, we would be looking at N6. I think it is one more step towards uh, giving a patient a spectacle independence post cataract surgery without any dysphotopsias, glare and halos, etc. You know, with any presbyopia correcting lens, there are trade-offs as far as strengths of a lens and trade-offs in general. But based on your initial experience, where do you see PureC fitting into the overall landscape of premium intraocular lenses? So what we're seeing is a lens that gives much greater lifestyle vision in terms of um, independence for day-to-day -day activities with an almost monofocal dysphotopsia profile. So it's allowed a lot of surgeons to move into the presbyopia correcting market. I think the penetration or the number of patients who will be opting for it uh, is going to increase many folds. What I would say is that if I cannot put a lens without any ifs and buts, if I can do it with my say eyes closed like you do a monofocal or an uh, enhanced monofocal, I think that's going to be really uh, something of a clincher for press biopia correcting lenses. Sur surgeon confidence goes up, my confidence goes up and I can then well, like for example today my standard of care is no longer a monofocal lens, it's a monofocal plus lens. Uh, like the eye hands. And I feel that this is going to fall in that category for press biopia correcting lenses. Talking to my Indian colleagues earlier, we're a different market in Australia. Our patients are incredibly focused on high quality distance vision and we have very outdoor lifestyle. And so if the patients are 6, 7.5 or 6, 9, no matter how well they might be seeing their smartphone, they're not happy. So in our market, we cannot compromise the distance and the, um, the, the Pure C is very much providing that. But what's been interesting is compared to the other EDOS I've used, the standard deviation or the predictability of lifestyle vision uh, is 80 to 90% of people are coming in predicted. So um, that, that's been our clinical results now, very high patient satisfaction and a, a real confidence in the predictability of how the lens behaves optically. What we want, particularly for surgeons moving from a monofocal to a, to a pure C, is to have the confidence that the patient's going to say, I'm seeing well. It gives you the confidence if you're, if you're moving 
to this lens or from another EDOF or from a monofocal, um, you just know that uh, you're not going to get caught with a surprise. So it's been very positive feedback. Uh, within the ophthalmology community, if there are more doctors who put their hands on it and they find good results, that translates next to the patients, more patients in the market, more patients word of mouth. That they, this doctor did a great thing for me and I am now off classes. So I think uh, people have to get on through the bandwagon of uh, any good product that has come. Uh, that needs to be used by uh, the younger ophthalmologist or the newer ophthalmologist who are still apprehensive of using the press biopia correcting lenses now. Once again, congratulations on the launch of Technus Piercy in India, another groundbreaking innovation brought to you by Johnson & Johnson Vision. Patients see glares of light with multifocal. They may have dysphotopsia is the place where I would like to use a pure C kind of a lens. Gives me good depth of vision, doesn't give me any kind of glares, doesn't give me any dysphotopsia, and gives me great amount of vision at multiple depths. The pure C is a lens which is purely refractive lens, in which there is a continuous change in the range of power on the posterior surface of the lens, and the anterior surface is actually maintaining the negative aspericity. So it is maintaining the robust platform of techniques which we're using for almost 20 years in which there is a negative aspericity which gives the quality of vision. As well as it is increasing the depth of focus which gives you good vision for distance, near and functional near vision means practically you can be off glasses.